hello everyone how are you all uh, i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem count of interesting subarrays uh, this is from the sunday lead code contest so first let's understand the problem statement so you are given a zero indexed integer array nums uh, an integer modulo and an integer k you have given some numbers and you are given modulo and you have k and your task is to find the count of subarrays that are interesting so this question is bit complicated i felt uh, we need to understand it very properly so that we can understand the question and getting to the solution was also very tough but i try my level best to explain you in very detail so if you see if it is an interesting a subarray is interesting if the following condition holds let count to be the number of indices i in the range l to r now suppose you have l to r and we have some count such that nums of i percentile modulo equals to k in that we have some integers right we have some integers in that nums of i percentile modulo should be equals to k should be equals to k then this count this total number of count now suppose there are three three count modulo three should also equals to k uh, now it's bit tough so i will explain you like i will show you with the brute force so that you can understand it so what he is saying is that you have i and j will start from i he is saying that you need a subarray i to j you need a subarray from i to j in that subarray we need to calculate v of x mo modulo some mod it will give some value mod uh, here he has given 2 so suppose you can take 2 if you take 2 uh, suppose we have uh, like this 0 1 2 3 4 v 1 2 3 a 2 position v are equals to k is equals to 2 and percentile mod equals to 2 at 4 at uh, sorry at 5 and at 8 at 11 at 14 you will get the modulo equals to k and we will increment this count we will increment this count and then we will check in this subarray if total number of counts total number of counts c percentile mod should be equals to k then we will only, then only we will increment the answer then only we will increment the answer this is the brute force i think you understood this question after writing this approach uh, Uh, i hope you have understood it so let's uh, now if you see this the time complexity would be order of n cube because we are iterating from 0 to n i to n and in that i to j we are still iterating so you can see order of n cube will be my time complexity so let's take this example uh, i have taken one uh, this is my example this is my input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 till 15 here i have taken mod as 3 and k as 2 suppose if you do percentile mod unit equals to k that is 2 that is 2 now if you see uh if you see first what i will do first what i will do i will check uh this is like a flag this is like a flag uh for 1 For one, ah, uh, one mod three, one mod three is equals to two. No right. So we will make it as zero. For two, two mod three is two. Yeah, we will flag is one. For three, it is zero. For four, it is zero. For five, it is one. For six, till fifteen, we will check. We will get two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. In this, we will get all all the flags as one. After getting one. After getting one, we need a subarrays. We need all the subarrays, and we need to do. If you see the time complexity, you can see it is ten power five. So we need to solve it in order of. We need to solve it in order of n. So let's see how and how we can modify that. So let's see. If you see, ah, uh, we will try to do prefix sum. Prefix sum. Okay. Ah, uh, if you are doing prefix sum zero, one, 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 and here two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, five. we got 5 if you see now at fifth position at fifth position we have 2 you can see 2 if the number of element uh, number of ones are 
means from starting to this position we have two ones then this would be my answer and if you have five that would be my answer five and if you reach till eight because two mod three is two and five mod three is also two and eight mod three is also two that's why we want all two if you see we see two five eight eleven if we are getting from the start to the this position if you are getting either uh, number of elements are two or five or eight or eleven directly will increment the count but if you see carefully if you are getting two if you are getting two and at some other position like now here we got two and if you see at this position we have zero at this position we have zero if you see this if you include this element if you include this element number of twos number of ones will be two right number of ones will be two oh yeah this should this should also be taken care so if you are getting two we will check for zeros we will check for zero suppose uh, you are now you are at three now you are at three now what you will do uh, this from starting to this position number of ones are three but you only want two you only want two so i uh, let's think uh, if if we are three if we are at three and if we somehow if we know uh, till what index uh, if the number of uh, number of ones are one number of ones are one then we can say from there we will have two because three minus one is two so if you see this three and we have one here uh, we have one here if you see uh, if you eliminate this one if you eliminate this one this will contribute uh, if you see this how many ones are there one one only uh, number of ones are two if you see this number of ones are two if you see this number of ones are two in that way in that way this will contribute to this and this will contribute to this okay if if we are at three we can search for ones that will also contribute to your answer let's think about four let's think about four if you are at four if you are at four uh, if you subtract two if you subtract two uh, we will get two if we have if we have some uh, in the in the array in the prefix array if you somehow if you point out two somehow if you point out two from that position we can say that we can have total number of ones as two if you see here this two if you are eliminating this you can see this is contributing here this is contributing here and this is contributing here in this way for four we have two so with this you have understood like uh, we need remaining uh, remaining is equals to prefix sum minus k from uh, how many remainings are there we can add it we should add it uh, now if you go in the similar way 4 5 now we know at 5 position if you do 5 minus 2 3 but still 0 is also valid right 0 3 is valid 0 is also valid that's why to simply if you break down uh, we can do modulo 3 modulo 3 still we can do the modulo 3 modulo 3 0 3 modulo 3 0 3 modulo 3 0 in that way 5 modulo 3 is 2 in that way we still break it down into the one more modulo uh, we can name it as breakdown breakdown prefix into modulo we have broken down into the modulo now if you are at this position now 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 if you, if you are at this position at 5 we have 2 we have 2 2 minus 2 we have 0 so we will check how many zeros are there how many zeros are there if you see 1 2 3 4 we directly we will add 4 to our answer because if you see if we exclude this uh, we will get this whole subarray and if you exclude this we will get all subarray and if you see this whole subarray and this same whole subarray in that way we are adding it so let's see the code uh, if you see this is my example 
and this is the flag in the initial stages we are making we will be directly converting v into the flag if it is modulo k then we are directly making it as 1 or else we are making it 0 then we are taking a map uh, we are taking long long because the return type is long long so will the answer will reach 10 power 9 more than 10 power 9 so we are taking that and we are storing in our long long answer and we are taking a modulo p is equals to p plus v of i percentile mod if p is equals to k uh, suppose if p is equals to k uh, if 2 if 2 is directly reached then starting from 2 we can say that number of elements are 2 then we will directly increment the count right if it is reached 5 still we have uh, still it is considered as a 2 because we have broken down so we will increment the count if it is directly reaching we will increment the answer then remaining we will calculate remaining is equals to p minus k remaining equals to p minus k. Uh, p minus k. suppose uh, i will now suppose you are at 1 at 1 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 right 1 minus 2 is minus 1 if it is positive there is no problem but if it is negative if minus 1 and then we are adding modulo 3 we are getting 2 if you are at if you are at this one position if you are at this one position if uh, and your remaining is 2 then we can say if you consider this same thing happens right till this position we have number of ones as 2 if you see this this sub array this and this so that's why if the remaining is less than 0 we are incrementing or else we are adding the remaining to our answer and we will incrementing the prefix and we are directly returning the answer so in this our time complexity would be order of n we are using map so the space will be order of n and like it's bit uh, I felt this question was a bit difficult so I tried my best to break it down into simpler terms uh, if still you didn't understood you can comment it down uh, I will help you over there and thank you for watching